Hey guys, Cinder Ash here, and we're back with doing the ranged weapons for Zealot. So, we're just going to hop right into it. The first one that you can get is the Akatran MG Mark II Heavy Laz Pistol. Uh, you'd be better off just putting this down and running around with a mirror. Uh, you could probably do more damage uh, emotionally than you could with this weapon, but if you'd still like to use it, uh, it's got its specializations in mobile and high capacity. The bonus stats are ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power. Uh, for this thing, you're probably going to be better off with damage and stopping power being your highest. And then anywhere for your third one could probably be ammo or stability. It really depends. Its actions are uh, hip fire semi-automatic, or you can aim down sight where it's still semi-automatic. And its special action is you can push enemies. You probably do more damage with the push anyway. So, the available blessings are Between the Eyes, Dum Dum, Ghost, and Furnace, Raking Fire, Reassuringly Accurate, Running Gun, and Speed Load. If you're going to be using something like this on a Zealot, then I would probably recommend Running Gun, um, as well as Ghost. You could also go for Between the Eyes, if you're incredibly accurate with this weapon, uh, and use it with the running gun to make sure that none of the enemies are going to be shooting back at you. But again, if you're using this thing, and uh, I know some of you are, I've actually seen this, you, you're you no better than knife zealots, let's be honest. Next up is probably going to be uh, one of the worst weapons in the game, which are headhunters. We are looking at the Agrippina Mark Eight headhunter gun, just like all the other videos that we've done with this we're only going to be looking at the highest marking um, the other ones that are beneath it are better for their own uses but they still suck even worse than the, the highest ranked ones so this one comes with burst fire and precision the bonus stats of ammo damage mobility stability and stopping power for this you're going to be wanting looking for damage stability and stopping power its actions are hip fire, burst fire. You get ADS with a semi automatic, and its special action is a bash. The available blessings for this is Between the Eyes, Crucian, Roulette, Deadly Accurate, Falter, Ghost, Headhunter, No Respite, Opening Salvo, Surgical, and Terrifying Barrage. For this, I would recommend Deadly Accurate as well as Crucian Roulette, or Deadly Accurate and Falter. You could also try to go for an entire stagger build, which would be Falter and No Respite. But you're definitely going to want Deadly Accurate since you are running something that is designed for headshots only. And even then, this weapon falls incredibly short compared to a lot of other weapons. And I would never recommend this weapon to anybody. Next up, we have the Artemia Mark III Pergnation Flamer. Better known as, I'm a, I play Zealot and I want to crash some people's computers. So for this, it specializes in Torrent and Close Combat. The bonus stats are ammo, burn, cloud radius, damage, and mobility. For this, you're going to want to be looking for cloud radius, damage, and burn. as your three highest. Ammo and mobility do not matter as much. So your primary action is a hip fire fully automatic. The brace is a fully automatic. And the special action is a bash. The available blessings are blaze away, fan the flames, inspiring barrage, overpressure, quick flame, and showstopper. For this, if you want to be a little bit more tanky, I would recommend Inspiring Barrage as well as Fan the Flames. Although, if you are looking to add a little bit more explosive power, you could also go with Inspiring Barrage and Showstopper. Or Showstopper and Fan the Flames, it is entirely up to you. Next up, we have the Columnus Mark II Braced Auto Gun. Braced Auto Guns are pretty decent on Zealots. Sadly, this one just doesn't do enough damage to make it worthwhile. But, nevertheless, we will get into it. So it has a specialization in Torn and High Capacity, a bonus stats for Ammo, Collateral, Damage, Mobility, and Stability. For this, you would want to be looking for Collateral, Damage, and Stability. It has a Hip Fire Fully Automatic and the Brace Fully Automatic as well, with a special ability of a Bash. The available blessings are Despiter, Fire Frenzy, Hit and Run, Speed Load, Strip Down, and Terrifying Barrage. For this, it depends on if you want more damage or if you want enemies to shoot at you less. So if you're going for more damage, you can do Death Spitter mixed with Hit and Run or Terrifying Barrage. You could also do Speed Loader if you would like to reload a little bit faster, although I would not recommend needing reload speed for this because it is entirely 
quick enough to reload. But you could also do Death Spitter and Fire Frenzy if you prefer to go complete damage. If you want more suppression, yeah, I would recommend Hit and Run and Terrify and Barrage as those will provide enough suppression for you and your teammates that you'll be able to get through any horde of enemies with ease. Next up is the Columnus Mark V Infantry Autogun. This gun specializes in rapid fire and precision. Bonus stats to ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power. Primary action is a hip fire fully automatic with an ADS for its secondary. And then this also comes with a light because heaven forbid that you actually be able to see on some of your maps. Uh, or that we could just, you know, attach a torch to our chest, like a flashlight. Maybe I could stick it to my head. Uh, but, you know, apparently that's against uh, Fat Shark's abilities to give us anything that we want. Uh, because this game is not Call of Duty, as they say. And heaven forbid that I just want to add a sight to one of my guns instead of using an iron sight. A simple red dot would be lovely. I mean, we already have it on, you know, last guns, but fuck me. Available blessings are Death Spitter, Dum Dum, Fire Frenzy, Hit and Run, Punishing Salvo, Raking Fire, Run and Gun, Speed Load, Strip Down, Sustained Fire, and Terrifying Barrage. Now, since this is a fully automatic gun that has a terrible recoil to it, I would recommend that you do not take sustained fire, strip down, speed load, anything like that. Those aren't going to be good for you. Now, again, this entirely depends on how you would like to play with this gun, because this gun is a little bit more ranged than the braced ones, and you can kind of take pot shots at things. So, Dum Dum might not be the best for you. Instead, what I would recommend is... Terrifying Barrage or Breaking Fire, or Terrifying Barrage and Hit and Run. If you prefer to be full speed and just don't care how your recoil and everything else goes, you could choose to do Run and Gun and Hit and Run as well. Or you could just, you know, make it a little bit easier and call it Hit and Run and Gun. A little bit of a mouthful, but it is what it is. Next up is the Greya Mark IV Braced Auto Gun. Comes with Torrent and High Capacity. Bonus stats of ammo, collateral, damage, mobility, and stability. Again, this is going to be damage, stability, and collateral you're going to want to be looking for. Hip fire, fully automatic. Braced, fully automatic. Bash are its actions. And the available blessings of Despiter, Fire Frenzy, Hit and Run, Speed Load, Strip Down, and Enemy Barrage. Again, if you're going to be like most people who are using the braced auto guns, I would never recommend this one because of how weak the damage is, but. You could do hit and run and terrifying barrage to make sure that everything is suppressed while you're running through. Or you can go with death spitter and then a mix of hit and run or terrifying barrage or speed load or fire frenzy for some extra damage and a little bit of suppression instead of full suppression. Next up is Greya Mark 8 Infantry Autogun. Again, it's an autogun, so it's not going to be very good, but it might be decent for pot shots. I would never recommend an infantry autogun on the Zealot, but hey, you do you, man. You uh, you break the meta. Specialization in rapid fire precision. Bonus stats of ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power. For this, damage, stability, and stopping power would be way more than enough. Your actions are going to be hip fire, fully automatic. Your ADS is fully automatic as well, and then you also get a torch. Available blessings are Death Spitter, Dum Dum, Fire Frenzy, Hit and Run, Punishing Salvo, Raking Fire, Running Gun, Speed Load, Strip Down, Sustained Fire, and Terrifying Barrage. Again, because you're a zealot, you're up close a lot, you're going to want to be looking for Terrifying Barrage as well as Hit and Run. If you need some more damage, you could choose to do Death Spitter and a few of the other ones. Um, but mostly, you're just going to want to be constantly moving. But this gun's also incredibly weak compared to some of the other ones, so I wouldn't even recommend this gun in the first place. Next up is the Lus Mark III Shredder Auto Pistol. This is, again, a pistol. You would be better off running around with a mirror hoping to cause more emotional damage to people than you would want to uh, try and use this pistol. Although, personally, I would recommend using this into your Ogren's back. It might be a nice massage for them, you know, keep them happy because uh, they're going to be your front line. Or just, you know, your buddy in combat in general. Has a specialization in being mobile and torrent. Bonus stats of ammo, collateral, damage, mobility, and stopping power. Damage, collateral, and stopping power are going to be your best ones to look out for. Actions are 
hip fire, fully automatic, braced, fully automatic, and a special action of a torch. Because, yes, your pistol, instead of being able to punch them while holding your pistol, needs a torch. Because heaven forbid that you don't have a torch on a pistol, but I can't attach one to my fucking chest. Thank you, Fat Shark. Available blessings are going to be Blaze Away, Calvacade, Inspiring Barrage, Pinning Fire, Powder Burn, Raking Fire, Speed Load, Sustained Fire, and Terrifying Barrage. Since it's a pistol and it's not going to be very good at anything else besides, you know, getting up close and personal, I would recommend Powder Burn. You could also do uh, Inspiring Barrage if you need some more toughness because you're just getting shredded for some reason. Probably because you're using a fucking pistol, but... Heaven forbid that, you know, you actually pull out your melee weapon that does more damage than this thing. And then you can also do something with Terrifying Barrage to suppress any enemies that you somehow happen to fucking kill with this thing, which I doubt, because this thing is a goddamn pea shooter. You are better shooting somebody with a fucking BB gun from the year 2000 than you would be with, uh, this bullshit. Next up is the veteran's best weapon that we are also able to get. is the Cantrell MG-12 Infantry Las Gun. Now, if you are going to be on a team of Zealots and everybody else is running the best in slot, which I believe to be the Agrippina Braced Auto Gun, uh, you might want to take this just so you're able to take care of some of the longer range enemies because this thing does an incredible amount of power and it has very long range. This is very shoot, uh, short. It is just very slow to shoot. Which means it's not going to be very good for you because you're wanting to be up close in the action. So I would recommend taking this if you have a bunch of other zealots on your team. So this is a second best weapon recommendation. It's versatile and high capacity with ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power. Obviously damage, stopping power, and stability in that order is what you're going to be looking for. You're going to want... To know its actions which are hip fire semi-automatic as well as ads semi-automatic this also comes with a torch not a bad downside considering how much damage is behind every shot the available blessings are going to be between the eyes crit chance on weak spot hits deadly accurate efficiency falter ghost headhunter and furnace no respite and opening salvo depending on how you're using this weapon you could use opening salvo and this is probably the only time i would re recommend it because you're only going to be using the first shot to take down a sniper or something so far away from you that is going to wipe your entire team of zealots on higher difficulty. Um, and then I would pair that opening salvo with deadly accurate. Otherwise, if you're using this just casually, efficiency is also very good as well as ghost. Both of those should keep you very much going forward with no issues at all. Next up comes probably the third or fourth best, depending on if you're taking the Flamer, uh, the Lawbringer Mark VI Combat Shotgun. It's a close damage, high damage weapon with ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power, damage, stability, and stopping power, or mobility um, instead of stability. It's one of the only rare times I would actually suggest this because of just how many pellets this thing will shoot out. That mobility might not be too bad, especially if you're trying to close the distance on some things. Its actions are hip fire. It's just, you know, regular shotgun. You gotta reload each bullet each time. Sadly, it's not uh, an automatic, but I digress. The available blessings are Death Spitter, Fire Frenzy, Fletchette, Full Bore, Hit and Run, Man Stopper, No Respite, Scatter Shot, and Terrifying Barrage. It's hard not to not recommend anything on here, besides for the Fletchette. Um. All these, honestly, except for Flechette, um, are pretty good. Manstopper might not be that great, and Scattershot might not be that great. But besides for those three, I would recommend almost any combination of, like, Death Spitter with Fire Frenzy, Full Bore, Hit and Run, No Respite, or Terrifying Barrage. All those are incredibly great things to put onto a shotgun and have and use, especially on a Zealot, when you're getting super close range with a lot of stuff. Uh, the only downside is the long reload speed, which is why it loses out to a braced auto gun. But other than that, this thing is fucking mint. And I would recommend it on a zealot, hands down. Next up, you got what every bad player in the video game spear uses, which is the Lock Mark 2B Spearhead Bolt Gun. Uh, it is the best weapon for those without skill or any use of intelligence to use. 
This is a joke, by the way. Please don't get upset. I know some of you down here really love this gun, and that's fine. You know, whether you're using it for lore or whatever reason that makes you happy to use it. These are all just jokes and just jabs, so please don't get upset. Speculation of high damage, piercing shots, damage, mobility, reload speed, stability, and stopping power. You're going to want to be looking for damage, the damage, reload speed, and stopping power. Stability is not really needed with this thing because of just how much you're going to be outputting in damage and just the fact that you're going to be laying this into hordes or crushers or bulwarks anyway, so it's going to be hard to miss. Its actions are a hip fire or burst fire, or you can make it semi-automatic with an ADS. The available blessings are Cavalcade, Glory Hunter, Inspiring Barrage, Pinning Fire, Shattering Impact, or Surgical. I would not recommend Cavalcade or Surgical, but if they are something that you are interested in running a crit build on the Lock and on the Zealot, it is something you can do. Just don't recommend it. But you would pair those together if you want to do a crit build. Otherwise, if you're going for uh, full toughness regen, then I would recommend the Glory Hunter and Expiring Barrage together. If you're looking for more just damage, then I definitely recommend Shattering Impact as well as Pinning Fire to make sure that all Bulwarks, Crushers, and Reapers bow before you in a sea of unholy fire. Next up is the Vrax Mark 7 Headhunter. Again, Headhunters are awful, but if I was to use a Headhunter, it'd be the Vrax. The Vrax is very solid, but it still lacks a lot of things that make weapons like this good. Mostly being the fact that if it's a semi-automatic, don't gut me on the fact of how fast I can click by putting a timer in there because of your down ticks on your server. Just let me click and fucking shoot as much as I want, alright? Because if I, if I use a modded controller or if I use a modded mouse or whatever, don't ruin my fun, alright? It's not going to make the, the weapon that much more better than a, than a braced auto gun, okay? It's just going to give me the ability to take down a sniper... All right, that's the only difference. Specializations in versatile and precise. The bonus stats are ammo, damage, mobility, stability, and stopping power. Damage, stability, and stopping power are going to be the ones you're looking for. It has a hip fire semi-automatic. ADS is also semi-automatic, and it has a special action of bashing. Available blessings are between the eyes, Crucian Roulette, Deadly Accurate, Falter, Ghost, Headhunter, No Respite, Opening Salvo, Surgical, and Terrifying Barrage. Again, this is a weapon that you would take if you were not going to be up in the action because you have too many Zelts on your team because Zelts are overpowered as fuck and they are broken. Or I would recommend Deadly Accurate and Opening Salvo together. You could also run this with No Respite and Headhunter or Between the Eyes and Terrifying Barrage. And last but not least, hands down, probably the worst gun in the entire game that for some reason people still use, especially on veteran, like what the fuck is wrong with you? This gun is just awful. And I don't care that you can shoot through your teammates with this weapon, just learn to aim, you fucking degenerate. The Zerona Mark 2A Quick Draw Stub Revolver. Specializations in high damage precision, Comes with the bonus stats of critical bonus, damage, mobility, penetration, and reload speed. This is a weapon that requires pretty much all of these to be 80% to even be worthwhile, and even then it is still just such a fucking dog shit weapon that if I see you using this, I'm going to make fun of you more than I make fun of knife zealots. Yes, this is worth worse. Worse. Worse, 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 worse than knife zealot. You might as well be entirely useless in running around with your bare fists, punching everything like you want to be an Ogryn. The additional blessings for this are going to be Crucian, Roulette, Glory Hunter, Hand Cannon, Point Blank, Running Gun, Surgical, Sustain Fire, Terrifying Barrage, Trick Shooter, and Critical Chance Bonus on Melee Kills. If you're going to be using this for the critical damage, then you're going to want to be looking for Crucian, Roulette, and Hand Cannon. Um, you could also try to run point blank and hand cannon together. Chances are this might not work. Um, or you could also do surgical and hand cannon. If you're just looking to do some damage with this thing, I would recommend probably sustained fire and trick shot because realistically this, this fucking weapon is terrible. There's nothing redeeming about this. It might say that it does like, you know, 300, 400, 500 plus damage on a bullet shot, but it, you're you're missing the whole point of like being able to kill things like it barely could take out some of the elites with well-placed slots and it's just 
it's just not worth it. Well, that covers all the Zealot ranged weapons. Let me know down below which one's your favorite or if I've inspired you to try some of the new ones out or see if there's something worthwhile using. Or if you take up any of my recommendations. Other than that, you guys, take care, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one.